When I think about dependency resolution, I think that during my career, I've spent an inordinate amount of time thinking about dependencies, worrying about dependencies, trying to figure out how to solve dependency problems in software. A dependency problem is when you have a component and that component needs a service. And when I talk about a service, I'm not talking about a SOAP service or a REST service or anything over the network. I'm using the more general term of service to describe something that can perform useful work for me. So I might be talking about a controller in MVC who needs a service like a repository just to talk to the database or to send an email or to write to the event log or to calculate the sales tax for a purchase order. Those are the kinds of things that services do. The service is known as a dependency because our controller in this example would have a dependency on that repository to do work and it needs to obtain a reference to that dependency somehow. So one way to obtain that dependency would be to directly instantiate it in code. I can say new employee repository. But there are a few drawbacks to this approach because now I've tightly coupled my component to that particular service. This might not be a problem in every piece of code, but if you're trying to build an extensible framework that can substitute different services at runtime, or if you're trying to unit test this controller action, then you want the ability to substitute different services for that employee repository. One might talk to the database, that's fine for production. One might just talk to an in-memory collection that's gonna be great for unit testing. We need some more flexibility and not just take a direct approach to instantiating our dependencies. One approach to having more flexibility when it comes to dependencies is to introduce an intermediary between the component and the ultimate dependency that it needs. We'll call this a dependency resolver. So a component can walk up to a dependency resolver and say, I need a T. In other words, I need an employee repository or something that implements an I employee repository interface. And a dependency resolver knows about all sorts of different services that are registered in an application. And it can respond and say, here is your dependency. In code, this might look something like this. Instead of instantiating an employee repository directly, we'll walk up to a dependency resolver and say, get me a service that implements I employee repository. Then we get back something where we can invoke the methods that we expect, like get salaried employees. This code is an example of something using the service locator design pattern. That is the dependency resolver. We can call it a service locator. It knows where to locate services we can walk up and ask it for a service. It will find it and return it to us.